Okay, and we're back. In last uh, presentation, we took a look at setting up actions and adding in text boxes. And this time we're gonna take a look at some transitions. What a transition means in life is it means you're going through a change. And what it means in PowerPoint is it's changing from one slide to the next. And there's uh, some additional things that you can do under transitions. And to get there, you're gonna just go up to the menu in the ribbon and click transitions and it brings up transitions that you can apply individually or to all slides. But before I get to that, I wanna come over to the right hand side. You see some options that say advanced slide on mouse click. Now, right now we set up navigation using our images and um, a home button and right now the user can still click anywhere on the slide as well as on the navigation we set up. In order for the user to not be able to click anywhere to just use the navigation, we've got to turn off on mouse slide and apply it to all of our slides. So now if we click on each of these slides individually, you take a look up here at the right, you see that the on mouse click is in fact turned off for all slides. Okay. Um, and that takes care of that issue. Now, we have all of these options to make one slide change into the next. If you click this bottom arrow, you're gonna see all possible transitions that are available on it. And uh, you can choose any of the subtle ones, any of the exciting ones, or any of the dynamic content ones. I recommend um, you stick with the subtle ones or the exciting ones because they seem to work better than the others. And one of them that people like a lot is this uh, curtains one. And right now that's just applied to that one slide. You can apply it to all slides, um, clicking in your thumbnails, choose control A to select all slides and then we will do curtains. And that is now applied to all slides. So if we are to preview our slideshow using the bottom right slideshow button, you're gonna see all of the transitions on each slide. We didn't set up any navigation on the first slide, so I had to use the right arrow key um, to go to the next slide, so I'm gonna have to compensate for that. But now I can click anywhere on the slide like I'm doing now and nothing's happening. But the minute I click, or actually the minute I point to a button that has navigation set up, my cursor changes to the pointing hand. Okay. And then I can use my standard navigation. The transition plays each time. Okay, to get out of slideshow view, I will click the escape button on the keyboard takes me back to regular slideshow mode. I somehow got an extra slide down here, slide six. I'm gonna select and delete it because I don't want that. I think that's from when IT was playing with my computer the other day. But I'm gonna go to the first slide and add a little navigation button um, that just says enter or begin or something along those lines. So what we did before to insert the home button is we went to insert, we picked a shape, I drew a little shape on the screen and I'm going to do it again and with the shape selected I just begin typing <clears throat> and I can format my shape however I want. I'm going to make this button with one of the pre-filled color codes um, of black. Now I have to add my action, insert action, hyperlink to, I could do next slide. Um, in case we add or delete slides, it will automatically update if you're choosing a slide number. So I'm gonna just send it to slide number two. And also we might want to add an exit button on here. So I'm gonna do that with just a big old letter X in the upper right hand corner where people are used to seeing it. I'm just gonna do capital X. I'm gonna center it, select it, and make it really big. Okay, I'm going to add a shadow to it. I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to add the action. 
Instead of linking to a slide, I want to end the show. And then I'm going to do Control C to copy that. I'm going to paste it on every other slide. Remember, it pastes in the same place. <clears throat> okay, so now, oops, I didn't want to rearrange this. Now, if we preview our slideshow and slideshow view, <clears throat> we can use our navigation. And we can actually exit at any time. And that is how you do transitions and make the action buttons function so the user can't click anywhere to continue. And that's all for this slideshow. Thanks.